Right, so the recording started. Um, this is going to be a back and forth between Uchi and X Court Punk um, for at least the first part of it. And it's going to be a free exchange. There's not going to be any formal structure here. So which one of you wants to open it up? Um, I can open it up because I think he has a problem with my position. So sure. I'll just demonstrate my position. So my position is that... Uh, I'm not aware of any uh, sort of, uh, I, I don't think that Omega-3, or I think Omega-3 may or is probably not essential. Um, and I don't think there's there's any reason to uh, supplement uh, Omega-3 as of right now. Um, yeah, and then uh, it, it, even if it were the case that it were necessary or that it was beneficial, it doesn't seem to be the case that uh, vegans, for example, who don't get uh, um, uh, the, the omega-3, that the DHA, um, their DHA and uh, EPA uh, levels um, seem to be not that much different as compared to uh, omnivores or uh, you know people that e eat fairly regularly, uh, like like animal-based products. Excellent. Your response. Well. <clears throat> Yeah, like, <laughs> the thing is, uh, there's a reason for us to call them essential fatty acids. And I can't emphasize enough that uh, how uh, uh, certain types of, uh, like, even polyunsaturated fatty acids, which uh, carnivores are like, and even like people who are doing keto are very afraid of because... Uh, when you say polyunsaturated oils, seed oils come to mind, right? So, uh, people. So I personally view uh, seed oils as just machine lubricants myself. But when I mean, it comes to DHA and EPA polyunsaturated fatty acids, then uh, the picture kind of changes. So, I mean. The role of omega trees on your body, I mean, to some degree, can uh, surpass like hormones that are made out of uh, vitamin D three, like cholecalciferol, on in its like active form in your body, uh, promoting growth. So they all like work in harmony to each other. But when you restrict your diet from them. Uh, when it comes to fatty acids, there's only a brief uh, period of time for your body to like uh, pull out the fatty acids from your already stored uh, body bodily lipids, and uh, for you to be nourished on a slight amount of uh, DHA and EPA, uh, because our uh, like body fat stores doesn't always uh, consist of uh, omega six fats, right? So. I mean, in in my uh, I mean, in my personal opinion, and when when it comes to many other people, if you're not going to like consume uh, high amounts of omega three fatty acids when you're developing, or even when you're an adult or a old person, uh, you, I mean, you're going to experience from uh, I mean side effects that like sudden side effects that range from uh, asthma. Uh, your uh, your adrenals, uh, the fat around your adrenals, being consisted of uh, omega three fatty acids, like uh, getting like uh, dissolved and being replaced with uh, seed oils. That uh, I mean, not seed oils, but like the generally, like even if it's like meat sourced, like uh, like let's say crappy. Uh, uh, grain fed meat, uh, like the fat uh, is going to like your body lipids in general will be changed with like the omega 6 fats, which I mean, which is going to affect your health in a bad way regarding like what I have heard. I haven't read any experiments on your on the side effects or all of all of your uh, like body fat turning into omega 6, uh, but. I do personally theorize and 
uh, like uh, that uh, it it may be like uh, very catastrophic when you're uh, trying to consume your own fats because it's just going to, like let's say when you're like losing weight the amount of omega-6 that has been uh, like the fatty acids that have been converted into omega-6 that that are like your uh, body fat stores will going to probably affect your health like in poor ways you're just going to affect uh, various types of like detox symptoms while you dump all the uh, heavy metals and toxins that have been stored in your body fat so what do you think i don't know i don't so yeah, I have to warm I mean, can up. I just, a, a can bit. I just summarize this? Would you just say that you think DHA has a function in the body, so therefore it's necessary? Wait, is that, is that kind of like acids? A, yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean... Just summarize it. It promotes from proper growth of a human being at very, from developmental stages to any stage of life. Uh, like promoting uh, youth and optimal, Let's talk about the uh, like growth. general population because I don't think I really want to get into a very specific like niche yeah, thing I'm like that. Yeah, I'm talking about the general population because <sighs> sorry, uh, I'm not yeah. talking about uh, the standard American diet people. Like, yeah. uh, I'm talking I mean, about human, uh, uh, any type of difference. human, not just the average, the general. Uh, what population. I meant was like, yeah, what I meant was like, I don't want to go into like wh- whether or not babies need it. You know? Yeah, but. I mean, it's like a separate issue. It's not really. It's, I mean, aren't babies human? Aren't like children human? Sorry, or, I'm trying to do like three uh, people things. in their twenties need DHA for their <laughs> incomplete at that stage brain development. I mean, your brain is like uh, developing until you you go up to like your mid twenties. Uh, for some people, cool. for like uh, the average people, I I think it's like. I, I I remember it as like twenty three years old or something like that. So, and for long longe for longevity, uh, longevity, uh, yeah. I mean, you need omega three polyunsaturated uh, fatty acids for your uh, like the maintenance of your brain in general. So, I mean, I mean your your brain is like a giant ball like a squishy ball made out of epa and dha we're talking about dha here right mostly yeah mostly dha because that's kind of like the uh less common uh compounds in omega-3s awesome all right let's get into that so your your case would be that someone who's a vegan is probably not getting uh uh well, they're not getting DHA from their diet. They're getting uh, a, uh, the um, APA, right? Not EPA, but they're not getting DHA and EPA uh, in general. Maybe they get like EPA from uh, natto, like fermented soybeans. But I mean... Uh... Let's just say that they're not getting it from that. Let's just say that they're not getting any DHA in their in their diet, right? That That's kind of yeah, the assumption, then, right? Uh, we're, yeah, then we're leave with the alpha-linoleic acid conversion rates. And then, so... To... Right, so then what I, I want to know is, um, knowing this, are, are vegans... Um, are they deficient or that much more deficient... As compared to those who are eating uh, these DHA foods, uh, to where it's an issue. I mean, you couldn't uh, technically like. I mean, when it comes to like uh, fatty acids, unless you have like high amounts of triglycerides and blood fat, you can't just like uh, see the amount of uh, DHA and EPA that's present in your blood. Uh, because uh, most of that stuff like goes to your brain and uh, organ tissue, as well right, as your so... bones and skeletal structure. So my argument is that uh, you cannot efficiently or even like uh, slightly t- uh, to the like a re- like a, a number that is remin- uh daily recommended intakes of uh, omega three fatty acids in combination or separately. Uh, just like proteins are uh, listed 
protein in general when it comes to like uh, food packaging. But in reality, it's maybe like only three types of amino acids uh, present in that food. That's why I personally call like high protein rice bullshit or high protein whey, uh, wheat or whey protein. Okay, so do we have any uh, like research to that on uh, either epidemiology or um, human trials to suggest that these groups of people, the vegans who aren't getting a DHA in their diet, are they deficient enough, or are they deficient? Uh, are they yeah? Are they deficient enough to where it's an issue? I mean, have research on that. Yeah, we have seen that case. Uh numerous times because okay, research on omega-3 fatty acids let's just let's 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 focus on that then because i'm only familiar with two and one of two them types of stories two types of studies like, on this exact studies. subject yeah yeah and i found that one of them i'm trying to remember which one um one of them even despite not really showing uh that the two groups uh were very deficient um in uh, their EPA plus a DH uh, D DHA, uh, the the study actually happened to be found out to be funded by a company that sells DHA supplements to vegans. So now I, oh. I understand like you you don't you don't like you don't have to completely discredit the study, and I totally understand if you want to keep it. Um, it, it I, I'm trying to remember which one it is because I have two of them on hand here. Um, but uh, if you want to yeah. keep it, that's totally fine. But if if it like personally. I would see a conflict of interest there on why you probably wouldn't want to use that because um, there could be some faulty, uh, faults in the uh, methodology, uh, the types of people used. Yeah, when it comes to my ethics, uh, like maybe if you, if you could uh, remember, like I have uh, previously mentioned that I uh, personally don't find... Uh, industry-funded studies to be 100% uh, accurate, but when it comes to uh, the epidemiological studies and uh, it's not an like epidemiological human trials... Study. It's a human trial. Oh. oh, so when it comes to, like, uh, human trials, uh, oh. even when it's, like, uh, the Flex Council of California, then uh, the number then they cannot just fake the numbers because uh, the numbers uh, are going to be like uh, like very similar to another like let's say uh, university's uh, research in that uh, topic. So what they do it, is they it, would so use... you you've said that it's an, a human trial, but uh, like what type of trial was that? It was like was it like. Um, uh, a trial on like hospital patients or people uh, who were like uh, being monitored, but uh, like people's fatty acid cons people who have uh, had their fatty acid consumption were uh, it was like significantly monitored to the point of uh, the data being uh, um, hundred percent accurate. Actually, I found it. It's right here. It's I, it looks like it is a questionnaire, at least in terms of what they ate. Um, but they they made sure that they didn't take any uh, sort of um, fatty fatty acid supplements, and uh, I so, think their their, their but, blood was taken. Their blood was taken periodically. So they have did examine their cells, right? Mm -hmm. Like their uh, red and white blood cells. Because you, simple. yeah, because when yeah, because when it comes to uh, fatty acids, you even need like uh, how do you call it? Like skin uh, uh, biopsy and uh, your uh, like uh, a small chunk of your lipids being removed from your body, uh, your fat cells, in order to examine the uh, lipids. Because but. Uh, you have to like uh, oh, yeah. significantly monitor your blood in order to uh, find out about uh, if the uh, fatty acids are being uh, passed through your blood into uh, various tissue or not. Because when it comes to like omega six fatty acids, I know for a fact that uh, they're like almost exclusively like out of your blood. Because uh, I mean, when doctors see like blood fat, 
it means high triglycerides to high LDL cholesterol, like a bad combination of uh, one good and one good thing and one evil. So, uh, like, Fantastic. so I'm I'm saying that yeah, they could have like uh, accurately monitored uh, the metabolic pathways of uh, omega three polyunsaturated fatty acids through. Uh, blood monitoring, but you have said that it was an industry funded, like a, a fish oil, uh, like capsules, like pharmaceutical. Uh, I don't think it's uh, fish oil because it's they're selling it to vegans. So I think it's a it's a DHA uh, formed from uh, some sort of algae that produces it. Hmm. But you said algae. Is it in its like animal form? I have no or is idea. It mostly consisted of. Then why are we like posting it? So I have Am to like. I posting it? I, yeah, I have to take a look in this study. Be- I have to take a look at this study because you haven't mentioned Post- if it's alpha linoleic acid or not. Because- Post it because these are the two only studies I'm familiar with uh, in regards to this topic. You haven't presented any, so I presented the only two that I'm familiar with. Yeah, I. I, like had, uh, the point. I, I had presented some uh, papers on and studies on like the side effects and uh, causes of a not uh, causes but like <clears throat> uh, side effects uh, that have been like a, like a omega three deficiency side effects mimicking other types of diseases. Let's say berry berry, like a thiamin deficiency or uh, osteoporosis or rickets, a vitamin D three deficiency because omega D uh, and like omega three fatty acids uh, all have like a fame for mimicking various types of uh, diseases, basic illnesses in the body, uh, and basic illnesses. Uh, for a, only a significant period of time, only if you're a fully developed adult. And, I, an adult. and in, in both this, both the studies, the the uh, the vegetarian and vegan group weren't weren't that much different as compared to the uh, omnivore group. So rather than a debate, uh, you're just not sure of omega three fatty acids, like essential fatty acids, and uh, new, uh, like fat soluble nutrients like retinol, retinoic acid being essential for your body. Yeah. And what? We, where are we going with this? We're going to get into beta beta carotene conversion from that on. Uh, because, why? Uh, why? Because we're going to also talk about alpha linoleic acid conversion when it comes to EPA and DHA, and they have very similar uh, metabolic pathways because uh, one of them is a fatty acid and one of them is a fat soluble nutrient. So yeah, I, I don't know so why I we're... think I'm going to babysit you on that one. Oh no, I think we should focus on the topic that we were talking about. Like what? We were talking about the diseases that that are caused by omega that are caused by an omega three deficiency, and you have okay, said so... that the only paper you have found was probably... there only two. Huh? There are two. There's only two that two I found. on that uh, subject, right? Yes, and they showed no sig- they didn't show very significant differences between their APA and DHA uh, blood levels. So, was this a long-term study? Um Let's see this one. And you have blamed the study for being I think a I think industry well yeah, that was study. one of them. And then there's the other one and I think it was one that we talked to about before. I think it was a 4-year yeah, but one it's where they came mm-hmm. back. January insignificant 15? for you to post that study because I'm personally I'm personally not familiar with um, no. other than like cool. uh, fermented I, I only brought them up Okay, I only brought them up just because these are the only ones that are familiar with. If you have one that is on this topic, please present it. Yeah, I mean, hold on. Because I I mean, we had to we were talking about, you know, uh, study that you didn't post other than the uh, one that's about uh, blood levels of uh, DHA and EPA. You know, the evil study that uh, you have claimed was uh, uh, made on algae and industry funded, like a vegan supplement 
uh, type of thing, right? So I'm not going to get into that because, uh, <clears throat> I mean, rather than it's being like out of context, it's plant based. I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with uh, plants plant based sources of omega three other than the horrible rates of alpha nilonic acid conversion rates. Because the only thing I can recall is like fermented soybeans, which is natto. I'm not like, using it as evidence. I'm saying these are the only two that I'm familiar with. Please present the one that you have. Yeah. Have one. That's that's really that's all I'm asking. If you don't have one, that's fine. And I would just I would just ask you, I, I, you know, I'd just beg the question. Like I'll ask again. I mean, I'm on my phone, you know, but huh? I could provide you with some. Hold on, I'm going to provide provide you with your. I mean, desires, omega three deficiencies, like side the effects. Vegans, vegetarians. No, 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 no. The vegans, for vegetarians? vegetarians. Yeah, vegans, vegetarians Why, is, showing because what, these people don't get DHA, because, right? Yeah, but what does it matter? The studies were done in average people, like. But no, the uh, the if we look at the subjects again, I'll post the. Yeah, but then it comes to vegans. Huh? So are you just? Are you trying to learn that uh, are vegans uh, deficient in these nutrients, or uh, oh. through like through vegan uh, tests, or the side effects of omega three deficiencies? Oh. Again, through vegan uh, test subjects, which I mean, I possibly could claim the first one, uh, but the second option is not there because they only test that type of stuff in. Uh, average type of people, like average sick people, vegan or not, it doesn't matter, and uh, it's kind of all of context. Getting... No, well, because vegans the, don't the have author... a significantly high amount of omega three fatty acids. So, if you all of a so sudden, so they'd be a perfect uh, started... subject. So they'd be a perfect subject to see whether or not getting DHA is necessary or not. Yeah, but I mean. There isn't enough data on that, but there's enough data on... Exactly, this is my point. That's why I held this position, so I'm yeah, asking the, you... Like, and my point is, it's huh? out of context. People How is it out of context? Get, even, yeah, even meat eaters can get uh, omega-3 fatty acid deficiencies if they're on like a standard American diet. And most of the omega-3 fatty acid deficiencies they're occur not getting, on various they, types are... of people anyway. Poor... Rich, all types of people, but average. The studies they're not getting any not. sort of ALA. So, are we going to talk about the alpha linoleic acids conversion rates well, when it comes it to vegans? No. Yeah, oh. they're not because. So, uh, I have posted like numerous studies on that subject before, and like you know. Then on a high omega-6 diet, vegan or not, uh, you're going to have uh, lower chances of cons uh, converting alpha linoleic acid to DHA or EPA. But let's say you're on a all-carbohydrate-based vegan diet, right? All carbohydrates and protein-based. So then... Uh, then again, uh, we end up with uh, the vanilla version of oleic acid conversion that isn't affected by omega-6 uh, polyunsaturated acids uh, being like still lower than what the uh, daily recommended rates uh, suggest you intake. While I personally think that the RDAs are a bullshit anyway because, for example, the... Uh, Recommended daily intake for uh, retinol and vitamin D3 are fairly just focus lower on than the topic. What... Like, I'm focusing okay. on the topic, I'm talking about the alpha linoleic acid conversion rates to EPA and DHA and how uh, you it can even seem significantly to be an issue. get RDA. It is, it doesn't seem to be an issue. Then you don't convert alpha linoleic acid to omega 3 as a non fish or uh, flesh eggs eater. Uh, people don't always uh, take eggs into consideration, but anyways. So when you don't count them into consideration as a vegan, and you you're only like trying to, uh, like like your only claim to for your uh, for you to get like no omega three deficiencies is an alpha linoleic acid conversion, 
it turns out that the conversion is like even lower than uh, like the minuscule amounts of what a, a, a daily recommended intake suggests for. And the studies weren't done for like uh, a 24 hours. They were done in like uh, weeks uh, of uh, participants uh, being uh, being fed uh, high amounts of linoleic acids and uh, low amounts of other fatty acids or uh, when it comes to the omega-6 uh, to linoleic acid uh, studies, uh, they were done in uh, participants. Cut out. Yeah, I can hear you, G. Uh, can't hear him. Xcode, are you still here? Well, I mean, he wasn't really answering the 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 question anyway, so. He's still in the call. Um, maybe he's having a connection problem. Xcode. Um... Are we audible to you? If you're speaking, yeah, I'm going to ping him. I'm going to ping him. Yeah, sure. Not hearing anything at all. Well, uh, Dolan, did you want to step in? I don't know what's yeah, wrong. I, I, I was just going to say, um, like he he was keen for everybody to have a go, and I, I've got no problem with that. So as long as you guys are okay with it, then he's working. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dolan. Um, I don't think he can speak at the moment, but I guess what we're going to do now we're going to open it up um, a little bit premature. Anybody can join in. You can unmute yourselves and uh, have a go. Well, if you want, I can take the place of the vegan. Go ahead. Uh, hold on. Uh, well, the, the yeah, well, here. yeah, I think I got oh. caught, right? Did I get caught? Yeah, we didn't hear uh, anything. Yeah, I, I was talking to my... Um, yeah. So, where was I? Uh, I think I was at the Linoleic as promotion rate. So, yeah. Again, uh, you were talking about uh, how... Uh, linoleic Acid conversion rates uh, helped vegans to get... Uh, their possibly. omega trees, possibly, yep, possibly. But then, you know, uh, like uh, personal conversations and debates on uh, other Discord channels, uh, we have discussed. We have discussed that uh, how you cannot uh, significantly get uh, um, uh, alpha linoleic acid to omega three uh, conversion. Yeah, and it rate. seems and it the, seems to be the case for vegans and vegetarians that it might be fine. It might just be enough, no, and it seems it, like that. Yeah. No. Yes. The, the the thing is, the studies were done, and and your claim was just one type of study, but the okay, study fantastic. didn't explain so do you have a the human conversion trial rates. The study suggesting... didn't explain the conversion rates. And okay, fantastic. Uh, do you have a human trial numbers. suggesting that vegans or vegetarians don't have this conversion rate? I never claimed that. My, okay. uh, I've said that. So then, what is your point? Trials. Uh -huh. Again, I've said that in human trials, and you know it well, that any type of man that isn't lactating, isn't pregnant with a uh, fasted blood glucose, cannot even like uh, by 20% uh, convert linoleic acid to the desired, the, the, the desired uh, daily recommended intake of 
uh, omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids. Be and uh, when it comes to like vegans consuming fat or a vegan that's doing a vegan keto diet with like high amounts of omega-6 fatty acids or a person on a standard American diet with poor omega-3 to omega-6 balance or poor omega-9 to omega-6 balance because omega-9s also act like a filler in our bodies to balance out omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. So due to their uh, conversion rates being so low and the conversion rates uh, I theorize only exist in order to help balance out uh, those two fatty acids. Uh, so the conversion rates for uh, EPA is slightly higher but, but still not acceptable for uh, EPA when it comes to uh, linoleic acid conversion rates but when it comes to DHA it's uh, lower than uh, expected because the thing is you can't just be fine with like consuming EPA and uh, not get any of the DHA because omega-3 fatty acids are uh, are supposed to be in uh, a complex like B vitamins and it may even like I I, I mean it may even cause some uh, oxidative stress or inflammation in your body when you don't consume these things artificially in doesn't seem uh, to be the case right because uh, omega-3 supplements have not been shown to be beneficial for any sort of cardiovascular um, events. Yeah, uh, but we're not talking about risk. the supplements, you know, right? Oh, your only claim is cardiovascular health. I, did, oh, I don't, I don't see I don't cardiovascular see. health. Well, omega you were just, well, well, you're talking about inflammation, that. so I, I figured you were going to go into that category. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. So previously, your only claim to... Then, after accepting that the linoleic acid conversion rates were horrible in our personal and debates no i don't think i said it was yeah horrible. you said that not it was horrible you said that i mean you said I directly that said it was horrible significance you have directly said that let's say it's probably the case that's fine but uh you have also said that so let me quote you you said let's say the conversion rates are insignificant to the degree that you have said but let's consider the fact that Omega-3 fatty acids being essential or not, right? That's what, that's what was your claim. Uh, yeah. Even in the start of this debate. Yeah, so the thing is, uh, I myself don't give uh, omega-3 fatty acids uh, much, uh, like, I don't think they have much of a role in cardiovascular health anyway, but that wasn't my, uh, I mean, that's, I mean, your body isn't just consisted of uh, a naked eye, like a, a naked heart with like a cardiovascular system hanging around. You have various types of other organs, a skeleton, brain development and hormones. You need DHA and EPA in complex, in desired amounts for your hormones, your thyroid, your skeletal development, your brain tissue, anything. Even if you're not like a developing um, person, a child, you would still need uh, omega-3 fatty acids in uh, h highest possible consumption uh, okay, and what are for you basing yourself that in order of? to... I'm basing in that off of various, type of various types of studies that were done on uh, omega-3 deficient people and uh, the diseases that an omega-3 deficiency have mimicked. In your body. So they, they were it's an they essential were fatty acid. So they weren't yeah, they were. getting any sort of uh, a a ALA, right? They weren't getting any sort of ALA and they were that's deficient. Not the case. No, that's okay, not so the case. then we aren't talking about that. They may have got then. some ALA conversion or not. Okay, so then, okay, so, so they did get so some sort of ALA is, conversion, but they still have this issue? No, we don't have to talk about that because we have already established that ELA doesn't significantly convert to. Omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids in your body. You, you so, said, you, but you. So what you actually did was you showed me a paper where it was not uh, a explaining paper, the mechanism. A paper yeah. and a whole database. Okay, and they were they were they were German mystic, database mechan full of 141 papers and. I'm not going to read 141 unless you have. Yeah, some you don't have that to, you but read you were, and you showed me. Very enthusiastic about it. Yes, be, okay, because so what happened is uh, I wanted to know. Uh, whether or not this is an issue, like it, let's say that they don't get DHA, 
but they are getting ALA. Now you say that this conversion is low. Okay, I said for this argument, let's say it is low. Um, is this an issue? That was my main point. But if you, re but now I'm getting furious because you keep going back to this and you haven't presented any sort of human experiment to show that ALA doesn't even- um... I did, I did, I did. S well, where do you okay. get that from? You link that, basically... do you link that? Yeah, I did. Can you link that? Yeah, let's go to Tufano's channel. You're now just dismissing the fact that I have posted significantly for men on alpha-linoleic acid conversion rates. Awesome. Let's and look you at did that. accept that uh, being suck. Okay, well, that does need to be posted in the VC text here. Do yeah, you yeah I'm going today? to copy that. Okay. okay, link that for me real quick. And then let's talk about, let's say it is true that uh, because L ALA is, uh, is, is not going to um, significantly improve or uh, have the person getting ALA isn't going to have a uh, sufficient um, amounts of circulating EPA and DHA, then I want to know whether or not that is a bad thing. I have to, I have linked to you numerous studies okay, on let's do, let's, human let's break, trials. Let's break yeah, into those some. two. And, yes, let's break into those two. Have, have you read them and, yourself? Yeah, we have read them together okay. too. You know, I read them. To I you personally. do not. I do. I have especially the second part. I, I, I do I, not remember that at all. Oh, you don't? Do not remember that to be the case at all. No, especially the second part. I have personally talked to you. I have personally talked to you about the, uh, like the math, like the mathematical equations on the conversion rates of alpha linoleic acid conversion to uh, omega three polyunsaturated fatty acids on a both high omega-6 diet and a, a linoleic acid high and uh, a diet that has been like, that has had uh, other fatty acids being, uh, how do you, restricted. Oh. Cool, let's look into that one. And then let's look into the one where you just admitted that you have that says that the poor conversion of ALA, the people that are eating ALA, uh, that this is an issue. Into that, yeah. <laughs> and please make sure that they're human trials. Yeah, they were human trials. Okay. Awesome. Oh, awesome. So you're just trying to bash no, me no, on, no, like, wait, wait. Come on, come on, come on. When I'm, yeah, just... So when I've said that uh, human uh, lipids are exactly the same as rodents' lipids, but when it comes to, I personally agree that, and I agree with you that uh, when it comes to, like, let's say cardiovascular health, like other aspects of a human bio biology, biochemistry, hormones and stuff, a rodents would... I mean, even scientists and I personally not like. Uh, I don't think it's qualified qualified for um, human setting comparison yep. right. to human trials, right? Right. But right. Uh, I agree. Fantastic. That's a whole uh, debate on its own. That's a whole another topic. So I'm just going to link you the human uh, you, trials. Wait, 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 that where I'm... are you linking it? And uh, VC text, right? Yeah, I'm just okay, going awesome. to copy paste them. Okay. I'm trying to find them in uh, Tufano's Debated Carnivore section. <clears throat> okay. Xcode, how long do you estimate it will take you to find them? It may take three to four minutes. I'm I'm viewing the debate uh, archive of Tufano's channel.
Okay. I mean, the conversion rates are in correlation to the quantity of omega-6 fatty acids in relation to your linoleic or already established omega-3 proof as well. So let me just link you then. Let's just link the ones in question. Exco, you really should okay. have had the yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Conversion rate. Um... Well, yeah. Hold on for a second. Yep. I found it. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Okay. So when it comes to I, I don't wanna I don't wanna interfere, but have you actually read what you're about? Yeah, I have. Okay. I fine. have uh, mentioned the conversion rates. I think it was like four percent. Uh like that, zero point four. As long as you've read it, it it's fine. I'm just checking because people have a habit of posting stuff that they haven't even read. So. I mean, I mean, there have been like a lot of people bashing Dolan for not reading the stuff he's posting, but I don't think that's the case for him personally. But if that's what you're trying to say, then yeah. No, no, I nothing against Dolan. It was, it was a I'm generic just making statement. Fun. So, uh, I mean, I'm talking about like. Uh, Vegans in general, like what was the guy's name? Poach or something like that. I forgot. Anyways, it, it's out of context. So, uh, could we just get into the linoleic acid conversion rates in men? I'm trying to get it on uh, SciHub to get the so full it's access. So, it's a 2002 it. study, fairly new for. Uh, Which one are you linking? Huh? Which one are you looking at? What do you mean? Uh, w sorry, which which study were you looking at? We were looking at the efficiency of conversion of alpha linoleic okay. acid to long chain and okay. three PUFAs. Okay. Uh, is so, there anything you wanted to highlight here? Because I'm just going to read it. Yeah, I do. I do have to highlight somewhere. Okay. I do ha have to highlight something in here. I have to. So, uh, it says that, I quote, uh, alpha linoleic acid, uh, so it says, it says uh, the type of alpha linoleic acid in there that's biologically available for humans. I'm not just going to say what it is. It's like 18.3 and 3, something like that, is a major N3 omega-3 fatty acid in the human diet. 
it is de derived mainly from terrestrial plant consumption and it, and it has a long been thought that uh, its major biochemical role as it is as the principal precursor for long chain polyunsaturated fatty acids so we're talking about omega 3 here so uh, let's get into the conversion rates okay you, mean, you have more than just the abstract i couldn't get adults, it on my hub i mean it's been a while so let me just read it to you Okay. Uh, well, it, for it's... adults, excuse me, for adults, and three long chain polyunsaturated, polyunsaturated fatty acid supplementation is implicated in improving a wide range of clinical pathologies involving cardiac, kidney. Oh, yeah. look at. Oh, look at. Oh, kidney. yeah, and then and then cardiovascular I had... health. Oh, right, cardiac, and then I posted kidney and neural tissues. Studies generally agree that whole body conversion of Alpha-linolenic acid to omega-3 fatty acids is below 5% in humans and depends on the concentration of so uh, and 6 fatty acids. So like I have said, it depends on the uh, amount of uh, omega-6 fatty acids you consume in your diet. It's in correlation to omega-6 short-chain polyunsaturated fatty acids. That obviously do enter the Goldilocks of your LDL cholesterol and fuck you up anyway. So let's just continue. If you have anything to say, yeah, since the study just, bashes just, your study in two well, ways. Well, I don't know. I don't. Well, I don't think so because this is a meta analysis on the uh, on on the um, effects of omega three fatty acid supplements on cardiovascular uh, disease events. So a meta yeah, a meta. No, it's not yeah, on cardiovascular disease events. It was just a, a portion of Minus. Yes. Yeah. It also yeah. uh, mentioned so kidney, it's, you're just, you're just neural issues. issues. Yeah, oh, I actually have tissues. a meta-analysis on that as well. Yeah, but the thing is, the... Just keep going. The epidemiological I mean, study you posted was... The epidemiological well, this study is, you posted was like... This is a randomized term. control trial. Yeah, so whatever. So... And randomized control trial, but was it long term? So you have never answered that. You've uh, never provided well, me the proof that it was a long term study. But this, uh, I don't know if you know much study, about randomized control trials, but that's I do. um okay. Uh, you have to. What I mean, whatever type of study it, it is, even if it's like a uh, what would you, what did you just said again? Longitudinal. I mean. No, I'm, no, uh, not the epidemiological studies. The the Mice one you have trial? referred to. Yeah, no, not the randomized control trials. I mean, I'm, I'm good. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm uh, not too good with the terms of uh, studies right. yeah, go in ahead. itself. But I, yeah, I mean, it's obvious. But I know for a fact that, uh, I mean, I differentiate the, them on my like personally on my own language for example so uh, so the thing you have called my the study i've provided you with like uh like what type of study did you call my uh, my the link i've provided you with like a well, i don't i don't know it uh it looks like it's a it from the, just the abstract it, it oh, seemed so, like it was a review oh so why are you so like what hurts about not reading this study in it, within itself and look, no, I just uh, looking to at follow... the highlights and looking at what type of study it was. No, I just was wanted to follow along. Was it a randomized control trial? What is it? Oh, okay. So, I just wanted to follow along the... while you're reading. Yeah, the thing is, That's your all. study wasn't long-term. So you cannot be sure that uh, linoleic acid conversion rates in humans uh, that have been, let's say, long-term vegans or non-fish-eating vegans, like... Uh, those studies kind of get fishy when you implement the nutrition into certain types of people. Uh, not like races, but uh, like certain types of diets, like Mediterranean, ketogenic, like even like carnivore. But uh, I do, I am going to point out that the con the already b below five percent, which is in complex not not five percent for DHA or EPA, five percent for omega three fatty acids, 
in their own the long shade polyunsaturated oils from derived from mostly uh, seafood is is below 5% in humans and it is being affected by the person's uh, intake of omega-6 fatty acids. So, okay, so it's very, it's, it's a lot more nuanced than just, oh, ALA uh, has poor conversion or DHA has poor conversion or something yeah. like that, right? It's, it's a lot more nuanced than that. Okay, yeah, but that's fine. I, no, to say. In general, in general, ALA has a 5% conversion. But okay. it may be, and it is observed as being affected by omega-6, which is further information. I'm going to link the da data on how omega-6, uh, high omega-6 intake affects uh, omega-3 fatty acids, like linoleic acids conversion rates into long-chain uh, omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids. So... Okay, so uh, so we know that it's more nuanced. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so, can, can, by can the you... way, the complete oxidation of dietary linoleic acid to uh, carbon dioxide, dioxide accounts for about 25% of uh, oh. the first 24 hours of conversion rates, reaching 60% by 7 days. Much of it, the remaining polyunsaturated um, uh, not polyunsaturated like, uh, linoleic acid serves as a source of acetate for synthesis of saturates and monounsaturates with very little stored as uh, linoleic acids in term and preterm infants so uh, when it comes to infants for example so the study started know, with yeah. men and it is ending with infants so it's not a whole study done on infants um, which could be in ketosis, ketosis because babies are in ketosis, uh, which does affect the uh, body lipids uh, fairly different. Uh, I mean, even certain types of alcoholics who don't eat and only eat, I mean, only drink alcohol, uh, sometimes get into ketosis. And this does affect the data significantly when it comes to such uh, types of lipids. So okay, the thing so, is, so since you have the hold yeah. on, sorry, since you have, I just wanted to see if I could get this real quick. Uh, since you have the paper right on hand for uh, in front of you, is there any way you could screenshot the uh, the graph for um, like, let's say they're just eating uh, L A A L A or whatever? Uh, can I see the can, the um, blood levels of the DHA and uh, EPA? Okay, so. I mean, there isn't graph. like a uh, there isn't a baby graph, but there is a there are no yeah, for the hu for the humans yeah for the human graph. I mean, do you want to see a, a physical graph? I mean, no, 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 just like any number. So <clears throat> does it does oh, okay, it mention so. the uh, because that's just, uh, that's just ALA to DHA? What? No, I don't really care what. Yeah, if I mean it's that one. would be that would be. I mean, I'm not saying you're biased on that. I'm saying that you got the idea. You got you got the idea. So, so this is the conversion rate from men to infants. Uh, ALA to DHA and EPA, right? Yeah, and how it is being affected by uh, short chain omega six polyunsaturated fatty acids. So do you think? So do you know um, anything about what uh, a polyunsaturated fatty acids uh, uh, like a chain being long or yeah short? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so okay, then. I'm I'm looking. So, for, I'm, so just I see that the conversion. I'm, yeah, just in case I'm not confusing you or anything about yeah, the conversion the rate is low. Okay, so where is the uh? Where is the EPA to DHA um, uh, blood marker? What is it at for these people? Blood markers? Okay. I mean, does lipids even like sh uh, show up on such quantities in your blood mark? But I mean, are you sure? 
because it just said the conversion rates. Where do you where do you give a fuck it's about just... the blood marking? What do, well, what do you... we... Wait, what? Why do you care we about the know... blood marks of those fatty acids? I mean, well, unless we wanna, you have wanna... like, triglycerides, you don't have blood fats. No, you, you don't. I mean, I want to know what the what their EPA, their e, your, their DHA and EPA level blood markers are at right now, right? You, you don't call it blood markers. It's not more fatty acids. It's okay. So <laughs> it said that it's five percent, but so you're asking me the uh, uh, the linoleic acids conversion rates in correlation to omega-6 fatty acids, right? Not just because we are well over the linoleic acid in its vanilla form being converted to uh, omega-6 long chain fatty acids, right? So you're just curious about the omega-6 uh, blood marks. Do I get it right? Uh, say, say, sorry, say that again. I was looking so at something. Are you? So, yeah. So, are you curious about omega-6 fatty acids affecting the already weak in vanilla uh, restricted uh, only linoleic acid uh, consumption of uh, linoleic acids conversion rate to omega-6 uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids in relation to, like, I mean, we are past that, so are you just... Uh, Curious of uh, how the conversion rates uh, relate to a high omega six intake diet. No, I, I want to know. I'm like, losing you at this point. I mean, could I, you be I, more specific on what you're asking me for? Yeah, to, yeah. For so note? you haven't so, noted anything yet. So I wanted to look at the blood markers of or how much uh, circulating DHA and uh, uh, EPA. Uh, and, and these subjects that are that are getting uh, ALA. So, okay. So, so, which comes to a long-term study of alpha linoleic acid. I mean, to be honest, I haven't uh, read any studies on long-term studies on people only consuming. Alpha linoleic acid and their uh, omega three uh, and their omega three uh, levels in their body. But the thing is, you have asked me this before and pointed out a vegan study. But I have said that uh, your body, when you're like severely nutritional deficient in certain fatty acids, your body tends to pull up uh, the fat from your new, uh, body stores and. You're not going to get like, uh, let's say, uh, visibly skinny from that or lose any weight. But uh, like each day, your body, like when you're, even when you have like insulin resistance, uh, if you're like starving for DHA or EPA, your body uh, pulls the already uh, limited stores of uh, omega six fatty acids that are that aren't the bulk of your body fat. So in order to nourish you for maybe years if you're lucky so, and then we got into we got into like okay if that is the case then how do we know that uh the ala is not replenishing those storages and i think we, and we know that from the ala conversion rates being shit yeah, i've but just if, summed it up yeah i mean but can't you just figure it out for yourself you don't no, need further I, explanation on that it's below five percent i need, I need so, references what, for this, oh, yes, I, just I need human trials. Yeah, it well, is no. human trial, and it was done in both men and infants. It says it's below five percent in men, and it, then goes on to say the uh, shorter chain rate is, saturated fatty acids conversion rates, uh, uh, like uh, affecting the conversion rates of linoleic acid to uh, longer ch chain fatty acids, like shorter chain fatty acids. Effect longer chain fatty acids uh, being converted from linoleic acids, omega omega nine uh, fatty acids. So it's just below five percent. Why are you so butthurt about it? Do I have to like you keep, you keep through thousands of 
uh, data from the I, German nutrition I don't think, database. I think we should just stick on to the topic, okay? So again, I, I mean, I'm talking I understand about the you keep saying that it's it's uh, the conversion rate is affected. I, I understand that, but I'm trying to figure out what the uh, circulating <laughs> DHA in uh, uh, EPA is in the body. So the circulating levels huh? in uh, long-term ALA consumption, consumption, yeah. consuming people, right? Yeah. And like I have said, it the the results would be variable because of the sole reason that your body lipids have omega-3 fatty acids in them and your body may become catabolic and uh, like get the omega-3 fatty acids are, uh, that are stored around the organs mainly since it's uh, it's like less prone to oxidation for example I mean, unless you get like fatty liver disease, which is a whole thing on its own, but it would took for you, it would probably took for you a few years if you're an adult for a omega-3 fatty acid deficiency, uh, since your body would be pulling out uh, steadily the already limited stores of DHA and EPA from your body, thus you also reducing your mortality greatly right and then you said because we don't your have body any has long like term calculator right and we don't have any long-term studies to uh see if this is the case right yeah and if we and right actually we, we do i mean i said i haven't read any any anyone on that but you have linked i remember vaguely that you linked me uh a study on that was done on vegans consuming linoleic acid and their yeah uh, and the scientists thought and not discovered and not saw viewed that uh, but just thought that maybe their uh, somewhat steady usual average dha uh, like uh, blood lipids like uh, f uh plasma phospholipid uh, profiles were like uh, average i mean it. So, yeah, the scientists just assumed that uh, their uh, okay omega-3 intakes was caused by alpha linoleic acid conversion rates. But uh, the study I have posted disclaims that. So, and there are, uh, so it was probably from uh, them just pulling the omega-3 fatty acids from their body fat. Maybe. And and it only weighs a gram, you know? It only weighs a gram. And your body can do that, especially if you're an infant. Right. So it, uh, was, you... it was a theory oh, oh, brought me... on by the researchers, right? So if you yeah. don't have any long-term studies to, to, to suggest this, you just have an assumption, then I don't know like, like what you're they arguing have, here. Like they then. had an assumption. Right, exactly. Like it was an assumption, an assumption, but they but they looked at the they looked at the vegan the vegans vegetarians and compared them to the people that were uh that were not getting you know only ALA and um they they didn't seem to have that much different uh rates of EPA plus DHA uh, e EPA plus DHA. My assumption, I can ex I can just shout out loud. My assumption is true, just depending on the fact that on the paper I showed you. It was also done in infants, right? And especially the omega-6 uh, fatty acids effect affecting the linoleic acids conversion into longer chain polyunsaturated oils uh, being like less affected in infants due to infants like uh, balancing their uh, omega-6 to omega-3 intake. Uh, uh, probably from uh, like, I mean, converting the, converting the body fat uh, uh, or breast milk into like, I mean, I, I don't know. It's uh, like a, it's a complicated uh, issue when it comes to that. But I mean, then we just uh, go again, and I mean. Just, just looking for long-term I mean, studies. Just, I mean, on this. I have I've previously posted some long-term studies too, but 
the study I have posted was. Uh, I don't know a, what the conversion rate is. Like I, I, mean, I like under, I mean I understand the conversion the, rate. I, I understand that the conversion rate is low, but I just don't know what happens to their DHA plus EPA levels. That's what I I keep asking for that, and then we like just I keep have said, changing it's it. being pulled. It's being pulled out. And then, do you have any research to suggest that this is the case? That that's what okay. happens, and eventually it runs out. So, like long-term okay, studies, so, do you have it in humans? Okay. Yes. Hold on for a second, then. Okay. Because that's I have did look looked into that. Awesome. Okay. Do you think we're at the point now where we might open it up to anybody else who wants to talk? Yeah, this might be it personally. OG, what do you think? I mean, it sounds like he just, you know, if, if he doesn't have it on hand, then I guess I there's do. no point. Hold on. Hold on for a second. I've been just providing with you with, for links. I mean, with links for eternity at this point. And I'm not just talking about the podcast. I mean, we can do whatever you <sighs> The hassle I do for so. babysitting. Dude, you... Okay. I'm technically doing that because you're just so bothered oh, you're about not. linoleic acids conversion rates and how we can somehow magically get omega-3 fatty acids. And in the start of the debate, you have claimed that omega-3 fatty, essential fatty acids are not essential. said and, they, um, they don't seem, there's no evidence to suggest that they are so far, no. What? I mean, we were talking about this shitty conversion rate for so long that I couldn't even get into... Basic no, you keep going back conversion to the conversion rate, rate. It's so and it's so obnoxious that you keep going back to no, a different it's not, topic. Because it just it's very obnoxious. Everything. Yeah, it it does. No, it's a five percent. It's low as oh. that. See, this is what you don't understand. Just because you read a paper that converge. explains a mechanism, that does not mean that it is the case in humans. Okay, oh, you does, have to do a human trial to make are that you assumption. Retarded? That was a human study. A man in it. A male human and a human infant. Right. Are you retarded? You, then, Can't you read? Can't you listen? We, I keep asking you for the DHA plus EPA <laughs> conversion. And then what did you say? What did you say after? You then said that the only reason uh, that these... Then you went off on a tangent and talked about the vegans versus vegetarians versus omnivores uh, <laughs> study. And then you said the only reason that they have the similar or uh, comparable um, amounts of uh, uh, DHA plus e EPA in their blood is because they have storages of it already. And that was yeah, it. That and then I keep I asking said. you for law. Right. And I keep yeah, asking so, yeah, you. You, you were present asking the me case. for that. Yeah, I'm, pre I'm presenting you with that now. Okay, go. <laughs> yeah, but so then stop talking <laughs> yes. about other stuff. Just just present no, it. It's up, not up, other stuff. You just, just personally me. attacked me. It's very annoying. Just present it. This is so annoying. It's because you always uh, bash whatever I say with like the stuff I post not being human studies. Although I have never yes, posted a you... Rogan study in this debate. In this I'm debate. I'm not I'm not saying you did in this debate. I'm saying you have it in the past and it's very obnoxious because no, I, I, I have I, I have did it in the past for once. And all of the other okay. like one hundred and forty one Different fucking German database. I already told uh, you, I'm not. Of, I, I one, I'm not German, so I couldn't read news. any of those. Yeah, but none of those I could read because they were in German. For one, two, Holy I'm not gonna fuck, read just a bunch an of English button on the site. How do you think I read that? I haven't studied German yet. I have no idea. You linked a random thing, and I was like, okay, this is in German, no, so I'm random. not going to look at this. I can't. No, there was an English button on the site. 
you can translate shit in your Chrome browser. Well, I, 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 look, I, I don't, I'm not I gonna mean, say it's, 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 it's common sense. sense. How is uh, essential fatty acids not essential? Can you just yeah. introduce me to yeah. that concept? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. saying I don't see any evidence to suggest that it is the case. I'm not saying if I were to say that it is not the case, I would be able to provide you evidence for that. But my case is that they, they don't essential. see. <laughs> hey, dude, you're being very obnoxious. Hey, okay, uh, you're being obnoxious. How am I being obnoxious? You hypocrite. No, yeah. Then how are they called essential? <laughs> okay. Do you know what essential means? Yeah, it's essential. <laughs> It's required it's for body. human life. Right, but that, yeah, it's essential because it's you can't no. make... You can't get rid of that in your diet. It, exactly. I mean, the definition is, is essential fatty acids or EFAs or fatty acid that humans and other animals must ingest because the body requires them for good health. They are omnipresent. Right. So all I'm looking for is the evidence that they are necessary. So please present it. So you just went from. <laughs> Didn't go from anywhere. Look, look, fiber is you is fan... is being fiber. I've already talked to a few uh, uh dietitians who are. You're not uh, a cow. Uh, you can't what? convert fiber into fucking fatty acids. It's not You're my. Not that's not my point. No, 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 no. Hey, let, before you straw man me, uh, let me just present this. Okay, uh, it is being debated right now on whether or not fiber is essential. That is a topic at hand that is being debated right now. Just like omega-3, there's a lot of data on omega-3. Most of it is for supplements. Supplements on omega-3 don't seem to be any beneficial. I know we're talking about specifically from food, but I'm just, I'm just pointing that out. And it, I don't see any data, and you haven't presented to me that it is the case that I need it to take an omega-3 or D, some sort of DHA <laughs> supplement, or t that I need to eat DHA. You just keep saying, it's essential, it's essential. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. That tells me one part of it. Okay. So I understand your pain and suffering about that issue, but the thing is, <laughs> the bottom line is... We're just going to appeal to probability or that, so I'm just authority to, right here? So you first asked me for the... Uh, if omega... Like, uh, what's the like mechanism of omega-3 fatty acids being stored in your body lipids and then uh, you went on from that to uh, is it essential is it an essential nutrient which the, the title says it's cle clearly is you will get fucking osteoporosis vitamin d deficiency mimicking uh, <laughs> like diseases like i mean I could just link them out of my ass by just googling uh, randomly because it's just out there so much. It's not like a very specific issue like me uh, searching that. Okay, just uh, let's just let's just let, this is an awful tangent. Please just present what we were talking about originally, okay? This is so annoying. Then why did you like open up whole, whole different types of uh, like stuff you want to you want us to explain you? I was just going to link you a study about uh, yes, omega-3 fatty long... acids fun yes, the... function in no, 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 human no, 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 lipids. No, no. no. show no, me what? the long-term data to suggest that I need the DHA. Please do that. Yeah, okay, but what about the long-term data you haven't provided me with it? Although I'm... Long-term uh, data on although what? Although I'm providing you with, like... You haven't provided with me any long-term data. I am the skeptic here. You're the one that's telling me it's necessary. Please present the data. I mean, you. Ha I mean, you have to. I mean, you have been debating your cl uh, claims and beliefs. So, wait. Okay, uh, I, I quote from someone uh, before I post the study. We usually store EFA for essential fatty acids for production of other compounds named eicosanoids, such as prostaglandins, 
leukotrienes, and thromboxins. Arachidonic omega-6 uh, short-chain short chain fatty acids and other omega-6 long-chain fatty acids can be stored in our cell membranes. On the other hand, we do not have a true amino acid storage. We do have some amino acid pools that are used to maintain the right balance between what is degraded and synthesized. So I'm going to provide you links no, no, regarding just, just that provide, quote. Just provide the longitudinal experiment. Oh. Please. Okay, so let's see. What, what about this? Oh wait, this is Quora.com. Fuck this site. Dude, if, if it's just a random article, please, like, come on. I'm not going to post a random article. It doesn't suit me. <sighs> okay, so this is the first one, but... I'm just going to send them, send the three of them out uh, together for you to have a clear understanding of them. And you have to read them for yourself without me babysitting you and you pointing out what you were interested in them and what you wanted to discuss in said studies. So we could have a discussion about them. Yeesh. Okay, this and hold on before you go up there. That's for skeletal health and muscles, which does relate to your body lipids and how your muscles and uh, like neurological spinal muscles uh, that are holding your spinal cord uh, can get access to your body lipids storing omega-3. So, Um, so what, what are you highlighting here in the first, um, study? Uh, I'm not highlighting Which is... anything yet because it's incomplete without me posting the whole epidemiology of omega-3 long chain polyunsaturated fatty acids and other This is a review, this isn't a being... study, yeah. right? Yeah. I know, but I posted that review as not the basis of my claim. It's I, like I have said, it's complete, incomplete. Okay, so. I may go into Wikipedia for this one because any other stuff I have managed to find in this time period were related to how fast articles which I don't want to uh, publish. The thing I've seen highlighted here is uh, the current available evidence suggests that omega-3 
uh, PUFAs, EPAs, and DHAs, they may have I may have be said effective in running complete without me posting the full long term study. I'm just which telling you what, have what... to be, which doesn't have to be long term because you clearly have no understanding of human lipids. In well, it, this no, in, in this context, it no, needed to be right. It's not. It's yeah. not. A di- it's not diet related. It's your body fat. They can just yeah, do so fucking it, so... liposuction on you. You know, they can just pull the body fat from you and like, and I mean, there are like surgeries like that. So, <laughs> for scientists to examine your. Uh, costly byproducts. So I'm only on. hearing probability fallacies. So please present the long-term longitudinal uh, experiment on this. Uh, this this topic. Yeah, I please. got you. Yeah, awesome. You hear that though? The uh, PUFAs um, uh, seem to be that seem to have a uh, may have a positive effect on um, low-grade inflammation. And what type of polyunsaturated fatty acids again? Long chain or short chain? Uh, short chain. Bullshit. It's caused. To, it has been linked to cause various types of cancer in an imbalance, various types of inflammation. I mean, omega six fatty acids, when it's the bulk of your diet, is inflammation. Don't just make me list all kinds of fucking studies out of my ass for just for that subject it's out of context so just wait for me to link you my study i think it's out of context here not really <laughs> we're talking about vegans uh being not yeah no, i know i just was just highlighting to... that because i was taking you're taking a while to to present that so i don't know wait this food soldier did... highlighting it where Oh, uh, for for food soldier, I'll just point this. Food soldier can just. <sighs> Look at this. By the way, uh, are you talking about the? Hold on for a second. Okay, so whatever. I've posted that for food soldier, which you could also uh, read into for how polyunsaturated fatty acids, unsaturated lipid bodies being the hallmark of your inflammation. Studied by 2D and 3D microscopy. I've heard that ALA also. Uh, yeah. To, uh, yeah, you have to be like more specific to balance out your omega three and omega six intake, not just by t- uh, eating bunch of filler uh, fats like ALA, omega nines. <sighs> okay, lipid metabolism disorders. This might be it. Nah, it's just obesity.
changing concepts in lipid nutrition in health and disease. Okay. A 1999 study. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I may even just post some articles at this point and just get into the actual study from those articles because what it's kind of gets we hard doing? to it's, it gets hard to google with unicodes and what are we uh, on about right now uh we're yeah, about I, I think what we're Gucci gonna do wanting now, to know we're, we're gonna open yeah. it up for everybody else because uh, yeah we, we should sort do of that. said we're gonna do that twice so uh, now is the time so yeah, it is anybody time. who has a, a question for either Xcode or Uchi, um, now is your turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't follow the entire... <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't very clear. Say it again. I don't think he has a question. I think he just said he wasn't here. Oh, okay, I, th I thought something followed after that. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, so... Um... Yeah. I, I, just, I didn't listen to the entire debate. Uh, it wasn't mainly about DHA, ALA, and the omega-3 fatty acids, and the omega-6. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so uh, where did you get? How did you get? Uh, where do I get? Yeah, was there a stalemate somewhere? Uh. I heard Uchi talk about EFA, EFA not being essential. Yeah. yeah, he was talking okay. about how first DHA and EPA not being essential, then him. Uh, going back and forth again, asking me about uh, linoleic acid conversion rates and vegans somehow uh, converting linoleic acid to omega-3 fatty acids. While I have said it's impossible due to uh, the conversion rate is being below five percent, and uh, and that's for low omega-6 intake, stricted uh, linoleic acid conversion with a also low amount of DHA uh, consumption, which would actually kick the linoleic acid conversion even further, uh, promo like promoting a deficiency and an emergency alarm for your body. So he then claimed that, uh, well, uh, in the study that he has posted before, uh, that vegans that vegans might uh, convert alpha linoleic acid better, but I've said that's probably only uh, some EPA and DHA coming from their already stored body fat pools, which yeah, and you don't is have any... fairly low. Right, and, and I you don't have a case yeah, for it yet. Uh, <clears throat> I did quote, I, I did make a quote, but I, yeah, I understand. I have to be more specific about that, but so, what do you what do you think, Hakon? Um, well, he probably wants to study. So what are you talking? Hold on, shut up. Yeah. So. 
don't know what he said. Yeah, that broke up my end too. Yeah, so people are not a fan of me talking. No, you, you can talk. I can't just... hear you. Oh, okay, I found it. Effects of a fatty acid deficiency on lipids and brain. So, when it comes to lipids, it means uh, what a fatty acid deficiency does to your body fat. Like, uh, do you pull out the essential fatty acids needed for your organs and brain? Uh, Did you post it? From your... Huh? Did you I'm post it? it? Oh. I'm posting it. I just copied it. Okay, now the rev uh, the study reviews I have posted uh, are complete with this. I mean, this is some well-established ancient shit that people have made uh, claims and t uh, thousands of textbooks on top of. This is like... Uh... What does this have to do with the? Uh, what, what is what is your takeaway from this? By the way, I just want to uh, before I say anything. Me, oh, okay, I understand. It might be difficult for you. I have to introduce you to the idea of. Your... Yeah, just give me, just give me, <laughs> tell me what you're <laughs> posting this for. So I'm posting this for uh, the fact that vegans are not. Oh, so we're talking in... about a human setting, right? So why are you yeah, posting of course. this? Well, this is the body lipids. Are it's you going to make me study on? Okay, but are you going to make me? If, we're, if you're going to talk about a human setting, yes. Yeah, the thing I've talked about: uh, lipid cells of a rat. I mean, I don't understand why are you so stubborn about already well established uh, scientific That's my facts problem, and papers because around. People just keep, keep appealing to, oh, it's a scientific fact. Well, show me the scientific fact. Oh, um, yeah, I don't have yeah, that. Yeah, that's you. That's my problem, right? So I want to know. Like, I don't care if I'm wrong. I just want to know why no one is able to present me a case, and I haven't seen it yet. And you just presented me. With a rat experiment, right? So let's talk about a human setting. Because we're talking about humans. Yeah, hold on. SD, I, I can... Uh, I can debate Dolan um, sometime, either late later tonight or like tomorrow or whatever. Yeah, sure, man. Um, oh. Whatever you want to do is is completely. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the recording here. Um, yeah. So it doesn't take up too much space, but you guys are welcome to carry on and freeform and all that. Yeah. By the way, Dolan, have you got like any stuff on uh, your butt?